Okay, I just noticed that I got uh, I got a new battery, but I got only 14 minutes left of uh, data that I can record on here, which is fine, because I think I can definitely get all this out in 14 minutes, and I also took a little bit of a video of what I'm about to tell you. So you know how I do my Why Thailand videos, right? Well, here's one for you. So I'm down in Karan Beach, which is basically six kilometers south of Jong Silon, which is here in Patong. And I'm down there and I'm doing a video and I'm like, oh, I don't have my battery pack, I don't have my black bag. And in this black bag, I basically keep my secondary cell phone, um, a, a battery pack, right? A whole bunch of cables and charger and that sort of thing. So if I lost it, would it be the end of the world? No. However, the cell phone that I have in there it is attached to like my email and that sort of thing. Now, obviously, uh, there are certain things that you can't get into unless you have my fingerprint, as well as uh, passwords. But like, I mean, you could open the email and just like start right away. Because I was doing something with this, this phone a few weeks ago, and it's an old low performance phone. And literally, it was like taking up so much CPU. I said, ah, my God, I'm going to get rid of the lock. I'm going to get rid of the... So literally you can just turn it on, swipe, and it's open, and then you're available to those things. Now obviously you can't get into my bank without the password or the fingerprint or all this. But the point is, is he could have gotten into my someone could have gotten into my email if they found this phone, into my LinkedIn, all that, it auto logs in. So that would have been distracting, and then I would have had to basically I, I said it, I have it to find my phone. So if it was turned on, it would immediately be going beep, 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 beep. And as it's doing that, um, usually what someone will do is they'll be like, it shouldn't be doing that. So they'll push one of the buttons. And once that occurs, then what happens is everything starts getting erased and they won't necessarily be notified of that. Regardless, I wasn't too concerned. I have some technical solutions, but nonetheless, it would have been a distraction for a while. Uh, so anyway, so I drive the six kilometers back here to the spot on the sidewalk where I took out my stuff and was doing things with my phone to attach it to the thing. So I left this pouch on the sidewalk. So I drive back up there, I look up, and there's this guy like sitting there and he like looks up like this and looks at me and I said, like this, and he goes, and he shows again, he pulls up, he holds the bag. It's about 45 minutes ago that I was here. Mm, but yeah, because it's about 10 or 15 minutes down there. I did a live stream for about 15 or 20 minutes and then another 10 to 15 back. So it was at least a half an hour, if not 40 minutes. And this guy was sitting there with my pouch and I said, oh my God, that's mine. And so he shows me on Facebook where he took a picture of it and posted it and said, you know, I guess in Thai, right? He said, I found this. And I was like, oh my, I mean, I wide him. I, he was much younger than I was. And, and I was just like, dude, thank you so much. Can I pay you? And I don't think he understood. So anyway, I pulled, I gave him a hundred baht. But I was just like, oh my God, thank you so much. So then to like update his Facebook post, he goes, hold on. So he like wants to take a selfie of me, right? And I'm just like, oh my God, it was salt of the earth. Like you're fantastic, dude. Helped me out so much. And, uh, and I hear stories about this all the time. I hear a heck of a lot more stories about this than I hear about, you know, like, oh yeah, uh, they swindled me out of this or he, he screwed me out of cab fare or whatever. Yeah, that happens too. But I got to tell you, dude, this is what happens so frequently. And, you know, he still sat there. So I assume that he wasn't, you know, like taking time away from something else to be able to just sort of watch my gear. But I was just so pleased. I mean, I, I literally, as I walked back to my, my bike, I was just like, and this is another version of a gratitude attack. I mean, I just felt so grateful that he did that. And it's not like there aren't nice people elsewhere. I would, <laughs> I would argue there's a higher density of nice people here in Thailand. I'm in Patong, <laughs> okay? So I was like, okay, you know, and you know, he was dressed in a shirt that seemed as though he was like working for a company. It had like a, you know, the polo shirt that many people wear here. They have the logo on it. So I was like, okay, well maybe he's, but I can understand why someone, it's like, look dude, I could sell this for $20 and I need to friggin' eat and I get it, you know? And I, so I would not have blamed anyone had it not been there. But this just blew me away with gratitude. I was just so, so happy. I took a little bit video clip of he and I and, and thanked him, you know, Okay, so now I told you guys that like I left my thing right there back on the sidewalk. I'll show you. So I pull up and there's this guy right here smiling. Looks right up at me. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. As I fall over. Smiling and he like points down and he's got my bag. And your name is Haz... Haz... 
Hospital Law. Hospital Law. Yeah. Thailand is absolutely the best, and this guy right here is yeah. such an example of a gentleman. So thank you very much. I really appreciate You're it. Welcome. Yes. My mom, she watches videos, yeah, so yeah. she'd be very happy. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you. It was just awesome, right? Just awesome. And I think I told you guys once before, I was in Pattaya, 3.30 in the morning, and I sit down on the sidewalk, and I'm tired, because I'm jet lagged, it's my first night there. I go get like a kebab on the side of the street, I eat that thing, with a, and I set my phone down on the sidewalk, I'm tired, I walk back to the hotel, this guy starts running after me, it's like 3.30, 4 in the morning in Pattaya, right on Beach Road. So it's running after me, waving my phone, like, oh, no, 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 you forgot your phone. I was just like, oh my God, who are you people? And just so wonderful. So I gotta tell you, there's a couple things that I think about when that scenario happens. First of all, it's gratitude. Thank you so much, Thailand. Thank you, Thai people. Thank you to anyone else who would engage in that behavior proactively, because quite frankly, I would have done the same thing. I would not have posted it on Facebook though. So that's a good thing to know. And then tagged like Central Festival or Jung Salon or whatever, you know? Cause I didn't see like a lost and found anywhere. So that guy taught me something. But I was just, I was just so pleased, you know, that like that's the example of humanity, certainly here in Thailand, but also elsewhere. But here in Thailand, cause this is where I live now. And this is where I choose to live now. Cause I mean, it's a pandemic. Like there's nothing worse basically globally that's happened in my lifetime. There's been disappointments. 9-11 wasn't freaking awesome, but I'll tell you something. Stuff like this happens during a time like this in our lives, and I am just like, why Thailand? <laughs> because the majority of the people have an enormous amount of integrity. And I'm a big fan of integrity. I aspire to be the guy that this guy is. And, uh, with that, it's Mike from LiveMyAssOut.com said, I hope you're living the dream. Because if you're not living the dream, there's a high likelihood that maybe you don't take time out and pause when things like this happen to you, or potentially when something like this, a scenario presents itself, you don't go the extra foot, not mile, whatever, the extra whatever, like this guy did. Um, I, I'm just, thank you, thank you, thank you, Thailand. I'll talk to you guys soon.